All right, folks. So it is 7:42 p.m. It is January the 8th, 2023. And I forgot to do my weigh in this morning. I got a lot to unpack in this video, so y'all bear with me. First, I'm going to get a scale weight. And then we'll have a discussion. All right, so. <clears throat> I have eating, eaten today and eaten tonight. And uh, I have had some weight gain over the past week. Hello. <sighs> so this scale weight is going to be off. And I'm not proud to be doing this at night as it is. Oops. Let me uh, let it sit before I start going out. I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. Your weight is All right. 265.4 pounds. <clears throat> All right, so that scale is saying 265.4 but honestly it is my weight is more around 260 even uh, at least yesterday morning that's what it said when I weighed in yesterday morning and I meant to get that weigh in this morning but for some reason I forgot I had a lot going on today. I had a wedding to attend, which I am going to include in this video as well. <sighs> but we can roll with that 265.4 for now, uh, as far as my official weigh-in goes. But basically, last week when I started the 16-pound uh, weight loss challenge, uh weighed 254 so I probably got about actual six pound gain uh, like I said I have eaten today I attended a wedding I ate something before we went to the wedding while I was at the wedding they served barbecue and macaroni and cheese and wedding cake and <laughs> stuff like that and y'all know I'm not gonna miss out on a good time I was actually the DJ of this wedding. I was up on stage and I played music and uh, I did the announcements of the wedding. Uh, we caught the wedding group, you know, the groomsmen and the bridesmaids and the bride and groom themselves as they entered the uh, social event that they had after the wedding was over. And I announced the cake cutting and uh, different things and stuff like that. I was the DJ of it. Um, <clears throat> they asked me to be the DJ of it because I am a good speaker in front of people. So, how could I say no to a family member uh, wanting me to do that? So, that is what I did. And i got a lot of work to do to get the weight back off and to get myself back into this 16 pound weight loss challenge. I know uh, last week I did a lot of gorge eating at night. We just come off of the holidays uh, and for some reason I couldn't wrap my head around it. Um, my YouTube channel, I've been doing a lot of short form content lately. Uh, as opposed to long form content because that's what the algorithm and YouTube is preferring right now. Uh, I am a YouTuber and uh, food reviews is something that I've done on this channel uh, along with everything else that I do. And I wanted to get back into that within this year because, uh, because I'm good at it. I'm good at it and I like doing it. But I got to find a medium of being able to do that plus continue weight loss through calories the way I always have. 
I got to get my intermittent fasting window back in order because uh, I have let myself go. Now, the food that you see in these short form videos may be fast food, but it does, they do have calorie content in them. That has not been my problem, the food I've been eating. It's the food I've been eating at night beyond 5 o'clock in the afternoon. I've got to get used to my intermittent fasting window again. Uh, I let that go over the holidays and I struggled like uh, some of the other people <laughs> that I've been talking to lately, you know, within the Rumble group. Uh, have kind of been going through the same thing. I see some of my rumblers out there who want to continue the Wednesday way in and I need to know which ones and uh, who all they are. I have no problem with continuing the uh, rumble. It's not a problem and it's not something that uh, I need a break from or anything like that. Uh, I just didn't know how to wrap my head around doing this new challenge along with the uh, 50 pound rumble at the same time so anyone wanting to continue the 50 pound rumble weigh in on Wednesday yeah I, I'm good for it and I'm good for the breakdown uh, I can even find a way to do it you know between the 16 pound challenge that we're doing and the Wednesday weigh in if that's what you want I can find a way to break it all down on Thursday between what's going on with Sunday and Wednesday. I have no problem with that. Uh, no issues with that. Uh, <laughs> my issues are self-inflicted upon myself. Um, and I have not been proud of that. But, you know, at the same time, I've not done well uh, with my eating window. I've got to get that back in order. That starts tomorrow. Nothing I can do about it tonight. But anyway, with that being said, <laughs> I'm going to cut this here because it's seven minutes long already. And I'm going to break down the wedding and the events of tonight. And uh, Tomorrow I'm going to move forward a little more in a positive way and uh, try to keep everything rolling along as good as I can the way it has been lately. So, uh, I'm tired. It, it's been a night. Uh, it's been a night. And I've spent a lot of hours on that stage. A lot of hours on that stage uh, behind that microphone. Had a good time doing it though. Had a great time. So I got to put this video together and uh, a lot of it's going to be cut out from the original sound because there's a lot of music playing uh, that YouTube's not going to favor in their algorithm. I'm going to have to clip me talking in there and uh, music, you know, of my own, you know, to add in there for filler space uh, for the video. So y'all can check out what I went through tonight, you know, and <laughs> you can see kind of why... You know, I might be up five pounds tonight, but that scale will tell a different story in the morning. Uh, we won't get into what it says in the morning. We will just uh, do a Wednesday weigh-in and uh, see how far I've come down from this uh, weight that I've uh, that you saw tonight. So, all right. Without further ado, let's get into this wedding. Let's have some fun. All right, folks, so believe it or not, I am attending a wedding that I am supposed to be the DJ for. How this is going to work out, I don't know. I've never been a DJ to anything before, but uh, I think I can wing it. I'm good at talking in front of a bunch of people, they say. That's why I was asked to do the job. I got a microphone in front of me and a musical playlist from an iPhone that I'm not familiar with, but... <laughs> <laughs> we'll do the best we can. All right. So. I'm having to walk a good distance away from the venue because music is playing and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, YouTube doesn't like that. So I'm going to show you some clips of this wedding venue. 
Yeah, check out this uh, little fire pit circle here. All these rocking chairs. And a little fire pit in the center. And uh, I guess they got us hooked up where we can make some of them there s'mores. Oh yeah. Definitely not a good diet day for me. There's gonna be wedding cake here. There's gonna be s'mores here. All kind of food. Look at there. That's the venue. Some wine over there. And uh, I done took me one shot of whiskey. Hold the bottle up. Mm. <laughs> oh, that is smooth. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This place right here is a gold mine for metal detectors. If I had to guess late 1800s, early 1900s, it doesn't look... I mean, I've been on some old ones. It don't look as old as some of the ones that I've been on.
so. Yeah, they don't bury the scare, they bury the dead. <laughs> Photographer lady, they're doing a toast to the groom. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Greg, you want a shot? Toast to the groom. Thank you. 